What's good, YouTube? I got a playmaking three level score for y'all today. Fire well rounded build. But we're gonna get right into it. Don't forget to hit that like button and hit that sub button. And hit them post notice too. So we're gonna go power forward on this build. You wanna be 6'8. Take your weight down to minimum and a wingspan. You wanna put that at seven feet. So we're gonna get right into the physicals, max out your speed and acceleration. Vert, you're gonna put that at 75. And the stamina, you wanna max that out at 99. So we go right here, jumping right into the finishing. So you wanna get, for sure, bro, you wanna get a 90 driving dunk, but I'm gonna show you something else you can switch. You feel me in a minute? So getting a 90 driving dunk, that's gonna give you the gold posterizer, the gold limitless takeoff, gold slithery. Very important badges, bro. Close shot, you're gonna put that on too. So you got the ability to play in the post. You got gold grace under pressure. You got fast twitch hall of fame. And you definitely gonna wanna put fast twitch on at least silver. You feel me? You don't gotta put it on hall of fame, but really, bro. Yeah, 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 bro. I'm, I'm, Y'all actually might wanna put that on gold or hall of fame, bro. Yeah, I'm not even gonna hold you. I'm going to show you at the end why, but you're going to put your standing dunk up to 45 and the post control. So post control, you pretty much can add this on. If you want to use the back down punisher, if you want to use the drop stepper, if you're not going to be using either of those badges, bro, I really would not recommend putting the post control on because it's really not going to do nothing for you. Like it don't give you literal post control down there you feel me it's really a ghost attribute that just give you badges and everything i don't know somebody you feel me tell me if y'all feel something different bro but having post control on on your build without using the post badges bro i just yeah i, I don't see it working at all <laughs> not even gonna hold you so you're gonna have 21 finishing badges with this build but if you're not using this post control if you're not using that back down punisher you definitely could take this off and I'm gonna show you at the end, bro. I'm gonna show you what you could switch with it. But we're gonna add on the playmaking on this build. So you wanna max out your speed with ball. You get 72, your ball handle, 81. And that's gonna give you the gold space creator badge, gold tight handle. So you feel me? Y'all know if y'all wanna put those on. Tight handles is gonna be the one that you almost definitely gonna want to put on bro tight handles light up for most people probably more than ankle breaker and space creator but the pass act we're gonna go get a few more playmaking badges and put that up to 90 so you're getting 25 playmaking badges and that way as a big well as a 6-8 depending on what game modes you're playing in you feel me because if you're playing in the park you actually would be considered a big bro you feel me at 6-8 and you feel me you got enough playmaking badges the cook up you feel me crack ankles and still have on your gold bullet passer dimer and everything like that or the post playmaker for the squad and everything i'm gonna show y'all where to set the badges up and um how much well pretty much how how much every badge is costing and everything but y'all see that right here and we're gonna jump right into the shooting so you got 21 finishing 25 playmaking and i'm gonna show you the shooting bro shooting this fire max out your three ball you see this 84 right here that's giving you the gold catch and shoot badge bro gotta have that on especially being on the build six seven or taller bro you do want to have that catch and shoot because you are usually not the ball handlers you still can't handle the ball on this build bro <laughs> you feel me with no problem you see you got 81 ball handle Bruh, just throwing that silver unpluckable. The only thing, you feel me? I I, I ain't got to tell y'all why y'all shouldn't be pushing point on uh, bigger bills and anything. Y'all already know. You feel me? But we gonna, uh, we gonna go 81 right here on a free throw. Get some more shooting badges. You want to go 86, though. My fault. I ain't mean to go that high. But you see this 86 right here? That's going to give you that gold green machine. Very important badge, bro. You do want to throw that on. And really, 
you could you could have it on silver and either bruh either you would think the badge don't really do nothing or you feel me you you would feel like it's good enough because you you already be here you feel me but bro i'm telling you put that on gold try green machine on gold it might change your life bro <laughs> i'm not even gonna hold you ever since i put green machine on gold i have not touched that badge bro it's not going down to silver because honestly bro i rock green machine on bronze before before i put it on gold so bro i'm telling you bro yo i know the difference you feel me between bronze and uh gold green machine yo bro yo i just hit legend yo going crazy too bro yo i'm not even gonna hold you you know the green machine was on gold bro for real for real but you feel me let me know if y'all seen that uh that legend game too bro boys definitely cooked up but we're gonna jump right into the defense and we're gonna go 77 right here on the perimeter you still so all right so i'm gonna i'm gonna show you which which y'all could do different i'm about to stumble with my words but you could switch your post control right here with this interior defense but i'm gonna show you all everything that you're gonna have if you don't switch that so go 83 right here on the block and that's giving you the intimidator bro hold on we get Oh, nah, 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 yeah, yeah, for a fact, it was a gold intimidator. You get it at 81, but we got to go 83 to get that extra badge and everything. Yeah, yeah, I think it's usually like that, yeah, for a fact. That's why we want 83, but put on your rebounding. You want to go 83 right here and 57 right here on the offensive rebound. So you got 21, 27, 25, and 21. And again, bro, you could change your post control with you feel me. You could you could just get yourself interior defense or put your standing dunk up higher. But I'm gonna tell y'all right now why we got this this at 45, bro. Cause your fast twitch, you feel me, is just gonna launch you up in the air, bro. You really don't need a standing dunk, but just to get the standing dunk packages, we went 45 and everything just because it's. It's a little better, bro. It's a little better. I'll definitely give you that. But at the same time, bro, yo, <laughs> like getting standing dunks off with my guards and everything, bro, you really just don't need a standing dunk. And you feel me? The packages, the packages is cool, but you just only got to go for the, the package that you unlock at 45. You really don't got to go for the other ones. But I'm going to show you how much standing dunk you could actually get just if, if you switch the uh the post control so if you switch just the post control you get 71 and that's not really much of a standard dunk at all not even gonna hold you bro it's not gonna be a big difference yo it's it almost might not be no difference bro for real for real because seeing the way the game is and the fact that you really just don't need the rise up badge if you want like a seven footer bro seven foot anything yeah i definitely would recommend keeping on the rise up because the paint is really going to be your bread and butter and anything you feel me so you got to have yourself in the best position possible but being on a six eight bro you way more agile and you really it's it's easier for you to get up in the air bro so you get up quicker and everything even without the fast twitch on bro so you really don't got to worry about that and bro that, that's they really only gave you 26 points to your standard dunk so you feel me you do want to look at that 26 points standard dunk points compared to 85 post control points i don't know bro you feel me <laughs> and that post control actually unlocked hall of fame badges bro four of them so you feel me you definitely got to think about that and we're gonna get into the takeovers real quick so you got shot creating, sharp playmaking, and a post take. This one, bro, yo, it'd, it'd really be crazy if you came out here with the playmaking and the post take. But I would say maybe a playmaking and a sharp, bro. Yeah, I definitely would go with the team take. Nah, not the team takeover boost. Yeah, depend on, depend on where you put your takeover at, for real, for real. You go with the team takeover boost. 
or the uh, the team ratings boost, I would say if you go with the team ratings boost, go second. So I probably would go sharp right there. throw that on and you got a playmaking three level score we're gonna get right into the badges real quick I'm gonna show y'all where to set everything up all right so the finishing and remember bruh a lot of y'all get eight badges you feel me which are college badges and y'all uh, level 39 badges I know a lot of y'all sitting on eight at least. So if we add in, y'all pretty much gotta figure out what areas y'all wanna add it on to. You could go four on finishing, four on defense. That way you got 25 badges across the board, end up with 102. That'd be fire. But we gonna go, we gonna throw on a drop stepper on silver. You see, you get that for two points on silver. Very important, Brad, if you're gonna put it the uh, post control all the way up like that to 85 you do get these silver post badges for two points so that's player drop stepper uh back down punisher we're not gonna throw on the, the uh, postman technician though fast twitch gold limitless takeoff this is really a fire versatile build bro i'm not even gonna hold you because you really bro you really a 6'8 right you feel me and you got everything. You could play the big, you could play the guard, everything like that, bro. We're gonna put on Mouse in the House on Bronze and probably Grace Under Pressure, yeah, for a fact. So this is perfect. Not even gonna hold you. You literally got everything you need, bro. <laughs> you feel me? And that back down Punisher is it's, it's really fire, bro. I would say. You want to go for gold. If you could put it on gold, gold is different, bruh. I'm going to let you know right now. But the silver do work. So you good right there. And if you put the um, if you put the interior defense on your build, you pretty much already going to have strength. You feel me? So that is just add to the back down punisher. But again, remember, bruh, since we didn't put strength on, we actually got this on Hall of Fame because of that. You feel me? Like, if we had strength, I probably would have just put it on gold but for the shooting badges we're gonna put on blinders corner stop and pop gotta have that badge catch and shoot gold green machine gold sniper hall of fame high zone hunter and lucky seven bro and you could throw on the bronze dead eye you good right there other than that you could go silver on the blinders volume shooter hall of fame that's worth six points so you feel me you definitely could do that but i probably would add at least a couple badges at least a couple badges to shooting but depending on what you want to throw on playmaking you got bullet passer hyperdrive quick first step hyperdrive you really could throw that on bronze not even gonna hold you tight handle silver bailout post playmaker Unpluckable. Look how many badges you got, bro. <laughs> you, you really could throw whatever you want on on this build. You got post playmaker, dimer, bullet passer, tight handle, space creator. You could throw on ankle breaker if you want to, but we gonna throw on the glue hands. And you could you could really you could really use those two points for the hyperdrive, bro. You feel me? And keep everything silver. You good right there so your only gold badge with this setup is just be the uh bullet passer but you could up the tight handles at any point you got the space creator that'll be fire but for your defensive badges gotta be a little versatile this way we're gonna go silver on the chase down silver hustler silver run protector gold interceptor bronze clamps Rebound chaser, you want to put on Pogo for sure, bruh. Intimidator gold. So, yeah, I probably would go. We're going to see how many more.
so if you sitting on a five i mean if you sitting on the eight badges bro i probably would add five to the defense really only four bro because you could finesse this badge count any kind of way bro you could take now the interceptor and you feel me just up your pogo and everything hold on i'll take down the interceptor and the hustler just up your pogo like that you feel me you could finesse the badge the badges and everything you feel me the way you set them up but i probably would still add a couple more on just to be a little more versatile and everything but that's really a fire build you got gold posterizer again bro with great shooting on this build but i'm gonna hit you on the next one don't forget to hit that like button and hit that sub button be easy